I'm stress eating plastic free chocolate right now because not only is my computer that I edit on having issues and I need to be editing for Thursday's video like right now but also my toothbrush and deodorant finally came in the mail today and guess what wrapped in plastic and a bubble mailer the toothbrush toothpaste actually came in cardboard but there's a plastic seal on it so um i'm not sure what to do at this point because if i send it back to amazon i have to put plastic on it because tape is plastic. Everything's f***ing plastic, dude. This is crazy. And I'm also not sure if I can find something that doesn't come shrink-wrapped because that might be a law for hygiene purposes. What do you guys think I should do? I'm lost. I panicked because I didn't know if this should count or not. If I should send them back because they were shipped to me in plastic or if I should just let it go and let shipping materials be plastic. So I got online, frantically searching for a place that had something that I could use in the meantime. And to my surprise, I actually found a health food store near me and they had a plastic free toothbrush. So shout out to Nuts and Berries in Brookhaven, Atlanta, Georgia. They happened to have a bamboo toothbrush that came in plastic free packaging. So I hopped in my car and went and got me one. I got the toothbrush that they had and um, I called the store because the, the box kind of feels a little bit plasticky and so I called them before I bought it. I called their company and they said that everything is plant cellulose. Upon opening the box, it was wrapped in this really plasticky looking wrapper but I mean I like triple asked the lady on the phone she said it's 100% plant cellulose it does not have any plastic in it so interesting gonna have to google this I looked up this plant cellulose thing and it's actually legit I guess I kind of already had heard about it before but I'd never really paid that much attention it really does look like plastic but Apparently, it can even go into your compost pile. Today, I threw my back out at work. I clean houses for a living, for anybody that didn't know. I bent over to pick something up and I literally heard something go And then I couldn't move for like a second. I'm a stubborn ass perfectionist. There's a lot going on in the house that I work for right now and I didn't want to fail them didn't want to say sorry can't help you gotta go home and I wanted to earn my money and then I had an extra client today which I usually don't have so this happened within the first hour of working and I worked on that anyways and it was hard and painful but I managed but then when I came home and sat still for a few hours I literally couldn't get out of bed. Confined to my bed, I could not allow nothing to get done. So I continued my search for lotion and conditioner because I hadn't found those yet. And I also need to admit to you guys that I definitely cheated this day because I was so miserable and grumpy and sick and in so much pain, I cheated and had Chick-fil-A which definitely has plastic cups for their sauces. I cheated again today because a friend of mine came over and surprised me with food since I was feeling so absolutely miserable. Obviously I couldn't let that food go to waste. That was a really sweet gesture to bring me something when I was not feeling well. So thank you friend. Now I think it's a great time to share some extra grocery footage with you because 
I pretty much did nothing the rest of this day and I have lots of extra grocery footage to share with you. Updating you on grocery shopping, meat is not too terribly difficult to find. Most grocery stores have a meat counter and you can ask them to wrap it in paper instead. However, it is significantly more expensive. Same with spices. If you try to get those in glass versus plastic, they are also significantly more expensive. These are even more expensive at Kroger than Whole Foods. What in the world? Whole Foods, among some other stores, I know have bulk spices. So what I'm going to do is just use up what's in my house and when it's gone, refill it with something from bulk. Both Kroger and Whole Foods had bulk nuts. Just meat was really the hardest thing to find, meat and cheese. But again, you have the deli counters, they're just gonna be a lot more expensive. So far out of my own self-consciousness, at cashier stands I've shared about what I've been doing and I've only gotten encouragement from them. And then at self-checkouts, I haven't been given any problems for checking out with my stuff inside opaque paper bags. My question now is how do we tell the difference between this plant cellulose stuff and plastic? I don't want to have to call a company every single time I come across a packaging before I buy it to make sure it's not plastic. I thought those chip bags and those deodorant packets were made out of something else and they turned out to be plastic or at least part plastic. And then I thought this toothbrush package definitely had plastic in it and it turns out it's plant cellulose. So what is this? and how do we tell the difference? If you are more knowledgeable about this subject than I am, I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or contact me via social media so we can chat. If you've been enjoying my videos, please share with all of your friends and tell them to subscribe too. See you later. I should have spoken before. Just eating the chocolate. Would have been good.